at number three, uh, we have uh, rushing or even skipping security evaluations, and that's obviously bad. Um, we get it. I mean, we uh, all have uh, very uh, quick time to market to respect. We have pressure on the cost, but actually, uh, if you think about it, rushing a product that's insecure into the field uh, will cost you a lot more in the end because uh, you may not even be able to fix it depending on how bad it is. So um, you, you really have to think about all this, about also how you're going to be uh, managing the life cycle of your product. Uh, threats evolve, attacks evolve, your product will evolve over time. So you will need to retest also pretty often in the field. Uh, to do that, you, you will want to, to choose a, a trusted and independent evaluation lab uh, because you want to, to just avoid biases that you could have internally about, uh, about your own product. And obviously, you'll want to uh, act upon the, uh, the findings from the lab. So you want to fix all the security issues that have been discovered. Um, and maybe um, that's also a way for you, for you to get a certification if that's something that, uh, that is of value to you. Just to give you an idea of how bad this state of security is, um, you, you, I'm pretty sure that you have all heard about the Mirai botnet that has a few hundred thousand devices in it, uh, involved. Uh, and those devices come from a lot of different vendors. They come, they have a lot of different brands and models. And all these are vulnerable to extremely simple attacks. Uh, and the fact that even this network, this botnet, exists and, and is used by cyber criminals to attack other targets uh, is really showing how bad the problem is. Because uh, any of those devices they had went through a lab, uh, they would not be that bad in terms of security because uh, that's very, very basic uh, problems. 